Welcome back. We're standing in front of the police station, but... It seems we can't get through the door, so let's talk to this cop here. It's a police officer. He's guarding the entrance. Hey! How do I get into the station? That is the question, is it not? Huh? Pardon? To get in, or not to get in? That is the question. Good grief, more weirdos. Oh, I'm not a weirdo. I'm an actor. That's basically the same thing. No offense, but isn't that an oxymoron? Lady, you are the cruelest she alive. So, he's a thespian instead of a police officer. So what the hell is he doing here? Anyway, let's see if he knows how to get into the station. How do I get into the station? You don't. Not today. But I need to get in. What if there's been a crime? Good point. I guess you need to report it via one of the many kiosks installed throughout the city, or by contacting an officer of the law. Like yourself? I am but a humble servant of Her Majesty. And I'm actually assigned to vice, so don't bother. Any chance you'll let me through? Shower me with sweet forgiveness, Princess, but unfortunately, I cannot. The doors ain't working. The doors aren't working? They're not. Good Lord, I must report this immediately, after I'm done with my policing exercise. Did you say the doors weren't working? Ah, correct. The only things getting in and out of the station today are police officers, prisoners, and garbage. Aren't they all pretty much one and the same thing? Ha uh ha. -huh. Cutting words from a wench's barbed mouth? What did you call me? Hmm, sweet princess. That's more like it. How are you able to bring garbage out and prisoners in when the doors are broken? These doors don't work, but the gate downstairs does, of course. You can only get through that inside of a vehicle. The security measures are quite extreme. Like how extreme? Can you say radiation poisoning? Well, if he's an actor, let's see what he's doing here. Why were you parading back and forth like that? I am practicing the fine art policing. It doesn't look like policing. It looks like acting. Bollocks! And I thought I was making progress. Maybe if you tried being a little less... rigid? Yeah, but it's this bloody suit. It makes everyone move the same way. I'm not able to release the character. Are you an actor? Or a cop? Both, darling. Both. I am an actor, but I will portray an officer of the law in my next motion picture. It's called Mad Cop 2. I play the Mad Cop's friend, the somewhat ticked off cop. I think I saw the first one. It stunk. I agree. But this one has a certain uh, je ne sais quoi flair that the original lacked. You mean more violence, more sex, less plot. That's it. I think Cortez may have had a point about modern movies not being any good. So you're doing research for your next role? Indeed, my fair maiden, I am. I have been assigned to a squad to capture the essence of Her Majesty's honorable service. And what squad would that be? Vice. Okay. Thanks, and good luck. Ah. Uh, Parting is such sweet sorrow. Farewell, princess. Till we meet again, farewell. That guy seems to get off on uh, Shakespeare quotes. Anyway. Seems like we're not getting in through the doors. Well, our uh, cop slash actor said that uh, we could, g could get in if we're either a police officer, a prisoner, or garbage. 
Well, considering uh, the fact that you could talk about the garbage trucks and that he mentioned the gate downstairs, it's a pretty fair bet that uh, you're gonna have to be garbage. But it seems that the only way to get through that gate is inside the vehicle. Uh, we've been seeing uh, garbage uh, trucks drive around here. So maybe we can get into them. The question is how? Obviously, we can't just ask them to stop and get inside. For one thing, they're automated. And for another, they only pick up garbage, not people. Well, we could conceivably use this garbage container to do that. Well, let's see if we can climb inside or anything. pointless and it seems to be pointless because the garbage truck isn't actually passing the container well maybe we can make it past the container if we can change its route and the roadblock might be useful for that well the there was a number on the control panel when we looked at it saying 3018. It says Calavera Crossing MCW and the street ID number is 0092. Hmm. It says Threadbare Lane MCW and the street ID number is 3018. That's the same number that was on the on the roadblock, so maybe we can change the number and move it to a different street. Perhaps if I try entering the idea of the intersecting street, the roadblock will move. There it goes! So... The question is, is... Does the garbage truck now come by here? Well, let's climb back into that container. And see if we uh, can find out. <coughs> A green light goes on on the container. It used to be the red light all the time. And there we go. Hopefully this uh, hopefully this thing doesn't have a compressor. Keep it close to yourself. Like modern garbage trucks do. That was so gross. The things I do to save the world, I mean that smell, that sticky stuff, the way that rat just wouldn't let go. Disgusting. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that I really, truly stink. I don't think this is ever coming off. I'm gonna stink like fish heads and moldy pizza for the rest of my sorry life. Okay, so we're in the police station. Let's look around a little. <laughs> How the hell did these people get inside if the doors aren't working? Tuvok? <laughs> he does look a little bit like uh, Tim Russ, the actor who plays Tuvok. 
With some imagination. <laughs> What's she doing 200 years in the future watching Star Trek Voyager? Oh well. Tuvok? Yeah. Is he the only guy we can look at? You can usually tell a crook by his eyes and his foul behavior. <laughs> From my extensive knowledge of cop shows, I'd say she's probably the desk sergeant on duty. For some reason, they're always slightly overweight and grumpy. Right. Uh, actually, we're out of time, so I'll continue in the next video.